And about what time of day did you speak to him? It would have been right after the repair guys were there because that's when I called him to tell him, ask him whether I should get the TV repaired or buy a new TV. So okay. it would have been morning. How long did you talk to him? I don't remember. Does 18 minutes sound incorrect? I, that sounds reasonable. Okay. Did you talk to him about other things other than just the TV? I really don't remember what else I talked to him about, but probably maybe I would have asked him about his work or we would have caught up. Did you happen to mention Dan Markell's plans to go to New York the next day? I don't see why I would have. Did you have WhatsApp on your phone at that time? I don't know if in 2014 I had WhatsApp. Now we use it for all the parent chats at school, so it's everybody what? seems to have it, but I don't know if everybody had it back in 2014. What is WhatsApp? Um, WhatsApp app is a kind of an app you would use for texting. Do you know if your brother Charlie had it at that time? I have no idea if he had it at that time. Did you ever communicate with Charlie through WhatsApp? Maybe. I mean, I don't know. If I had it at that time or if I had it later, I probably would have. It's just not sure. Yeah. I... Did you have any contact of any kind with Catherine Magbanawa on the day of Dan Markell's murder? No. Did you ever communicate with her through WhatsApp? No, I never communicated with her at all. All right, let's talk about... Well, you communicated with her on the beach. I, I saw her in person, but I'm saying I never texted with her, called okay. her. I never communicated via a device other than in person. Okay. Um, what about when you were talking to your brother? Did she ever get on the phone and speak to you? I don't think so. Okay. Um, I want to talk about where you went when you left your residence on the day of the murder. You tried to turn on to Trescott, and then you ended up where? I went... Um, I was supposed to go to a party that night, a stock the bar party, so I went to a liquor store to pick up what they had asked for as the present for their party. Um, so I went to the liquor store, I picked up the alcohol, I stopped, I think I got gas, and then I went to lunch to meet my friends. And the liquor store purchase appears to have occurred at 1249 based on the receipt. Do you have any reason to dispute that no, timing? that sounds right. Okay, and then from there to the restaurant? Yes. And where was the restaurant located? Um, Mosaic. I actually don't remember. I just remember I would go north on uh, Thomasville Road. All right. And, so it was and is the restaurant where law enforcement came to speak with you and you ended up going with them to the police station, right? That's correct. All right. Do you agree or disagree that there have been some financial benefits to you and your boys as a result of Dan's death. I disagree. When did you decide to change the names of your children from uh, Mark Hell to Adelson? So after Danny's murder, there was a lot of news. It just hit the media and there were news stories everywhere. And Nancy Grace on CNN put pictures of my boys with their faces unblurred, just pictures of them. Mm. And I was terrified. And so when they started school, I started school with my last name, thinking that would keep them safe, that wasn't, they wouldn't be associated with the murder. Wasn't the Adelson name in the press? Just it as was much not as in the press. Markel? Not yet. Do you agree that you legally changed the kids' names on July 6th of 2015? That sounds right. So it was actually a year after the homicide. A year after. When was the last time you talked to your mom? Did you talk to her today, yesterday? Um, I talked to her yesterday. In her emails, and we referenced one of them while you've been here on the stand, she talks about you giving performances and playing roles. Did you discuss anything about what you would do here today in court with your mother? No. Were you involved in any way in the plot to kill your ex-husband? Absolutely not.
Did you know what was going to happen, but maybe not know the details? I knew nothing. Is that why you went to the crime scene on the day of the homicide? I did not go to the crime scene on the day of the homicide. Do you know who all was involved in the murder? Well, I learned today, <laughs> but at the time, no. Okay. Have you ever privately confronted your brother about his role or possible role in the murder? My attorney has advised me not to have conversations with anyone in my family about the case. <clears throat> but you had a close relationship with your brother at the time of the murder, right? I absolutely had a close relationship with my brother. And your, how soon after the murder did your lawyer advise you not to talk to your family about it? In 2016. Okay, so what about the two years in between? Did you talk to him about it then? I mean, I talked to him about the fact that a murder occurred, but I guess I don't understand the question. But you never talked to him about the suspicions you raised in the law enforcement interview that your brother might have done it. No, I did not. You suspected your brother could have been a part of this, right? I suspected lots of people could have been a part of it. But he was one of the people, right? While I was talking with law enforcement for six hours, terrified out of my mind, I offered them every possible idea I could come up with. Right, and one of the possible ideas was that your brother could have murdered your child's father. I didn't right? really believe that was possible. Was part of the plot for you to be able to have plausible deniability about this? Absolutely not. Is it better for both you and your brother if you don't know the details of this? I don't even understand the question that you're asking me. When did you first become aware that you might be a suspect in this case? I mean, as the ex-wife, I assumed I was a suspect from the beginning. What was your first thought when you were asked if anyone might have murdered Dan Markell for your benefit? I thought, oh my God, maybe if I hadn't divorced him, he would still be alive. Maybe, maybe this is my fault because I complained to the wrong person. Maybe Danny gave a student a bad grade and they came after him. I just was trying to think of who possibly could have wanted to hurt him. But you didn't say any of that before. I mean, the first thing you said was Charlie, right? I don't think so. Page 25 of your interview, line 5 through 15, do you have any reason to dispute? Page 25, not five hours into it, you say Charlie might have done it, right? Can I see, please? You may. This is going to be tab one, page 25. What I say here is that he would never do it. Right under the highlighted part, I say, no, he would never. Page 25, line 5 through 15, I mean my brother. The one, his name is Charlie, the one I'm really close to. He makes a lot of jokes in that taste, and it was a joke he made. He bought the TV for me this morning that got broken, and then I was talking to him about whether it made sense to pay or fix it, or whether I should get a new one. And it was always like, it was always his joke that, like, he knew that Danny always treated me badly, and it was always his joke. He said, I looked into hiring a hitman and it was cheaper to get you this TV. So instead I got you this TV. And you do say you don't think he would do it, but can we agree you brought up his name on page 25 of the interview? I did. When asked, 
would you ever ask someone to do something like this? You say not in a million years. When asked, okay, do you think someone would do this for your benefit without asking you? You say no. And when Isom starts to ask you what good does it serve, you say, I mean my brother, the one, his name is Charlie. Isn't that how it went? This is the transcript, but I think there's also inaccuracies in the transcription. Oh boy. All right. Do you want the culpable parties held accountable for murdering the father of your children? Absolutely. I'm grateful they're already in jail. But not if it's your family. It's not my family. I mean, somebody hired them, right? Not necessarily. Somebody paid them. I learned something this morning. <laughs> yeah, me too. You didn't want them held accountable if it was your family members. Didn't you tell law enforcement that? That's not what I told law enforcement. What did you tell law enforcement? I told them that the person who did this should be held responsible and that I had nothing to do with it. Page 122, lines 7 through 12. If somebody tried to kill my ex-husband, they should be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. The investigator says, regardless of who it is, and your answer is, I mean, it would be different if I thought it were my brother. But I don't think it was my family, is what It's different I said. now, isn't it? No, it's not different. That's exactly different what today, I said isn't right it? here. No, that's not no right. No further questions. Well, I was going to 